I replaced the motor on a summer air HRV. What's the brand and model of your HVAC unit? How old is it? Sorry was going to add more info and hit enter out of habit. Summer air SHRV 125 SD 15 year old unit Old motor was a Fasco 71,901,186U90B when the new replacement is a D326 by Fasco. The old motor had a wiring of two brown to cap, white and black to the circuit board and a ground wire. The new motor, 3 speed, has one brown, one black, one white, one blue and one red and no ground. I have installed the motor and hooked up the white and black wire as they were on the original motor and ran the one brown wire to a new capacitor. The blue and red wire have been cut, wire nuts and taped, low and medium speed. The motor will not start on its own until it is given a spin. Did I wire this up wrong? Do you have a multimeter or voltage tester? What colors are the wires? I listed that. How long has this been going on with your FASCO wiring? What have you tried so far? Replace the old motor, installed new capacitor. Anything else we should know to help you best? IDK Hello my name is Licensed HVAC Tech and welcome to the Just Answer site. I'm sorry to hear you're having problems with your HRF motor and can help please disregard any requests for a phone call as they are generated by the site and not by me. I don't know your HRV or the FASCO motor well enough to spot an issue however the answer probably lies in what you wrote. Ran the one brown wire to a new capacitor. And capacitors require two wires. If the motor does not see the capacitor it will try to start on its own, and just might spin, but it won't stay on for long. Without the capacitor the motor will overheat. I'm willing to bet this is the problem. Is there no diagram on the motor or in the lit that came with it? I'll research the new motor to see if I can tell what wires go to the cap and will return shortly with my findings. I've searched and found plenty of motor specs but nothing on the wiring. I hope the FASCO catalog would provide that information but it only had specs. The tag on the motor normally has a small wiring diagram like the one in the attachment I've included. If not on the motor then in the paperwork that came with it. Let me know what you find and I can then help you further. This is the new motor. This is the old motor. If you submitted the photos via text I cannot see them. Can you upload from a tablet or laptop? Email to you. No, you would attach them to a message like I did with the motor photos. There are a few ways to send a photo or file. When posting your question, there is an option to add photos and files. If you already posted your question and still need to share photos or files, click the upload icon on the reply box in your question. A pop-up window will open. Locate the file on your computer, click it once, then click open. A link representing your photo or file should now appear below the reply box on your question page. Insert text in the reply box and click the send button to send your photo or file to the expert. To send a photo or file, it must be 5 megabytes or less and in one of the following formats, GIF, PNG, JPEG, ZIP, RAR, PDF, DOC, XLS, PPT, DOCX, XLSX, SWF, FLV, WMV. If your photo or file is larger than 5 megabytes, please resize it or send it to customer supported at. 
One motor pick. The other motor pick. Give me a minute, BRB. Okay, I've attached a photo showing where you wire in the capacitor. If you only connected one wire, then the motor won't work for reasons previously stated. So you will wire one side of the neutral wire, usually white, to the motor white wire in the capacitor. The hot, usually black, wire will connect to the block's high speed wire. Then cap and tape the additional motor leads so they don't short anything out. You use the high speed because according to the specs for the new motor the high speed is 1550 RPM just like your old motor. This should put your motor in business if you didn't damage it by trying to run it while improperly wired. To do so please scroll up, in most cases, until you see the star rating area at the top right of the page. Please know that I will stand by to answer any questions and you can follow up for next 10 days at no additional charge. Thank you for the opportunity to help you. Here is the motor photo. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.